So we have had quite a lot of running waterproof jacket content on the channel of late and I hope with the weather we've been having in the UK, you guys have found it helpful. Last time we spoke all running waterproof jackets, we were taking an in-depth look at Harrier Trail's new Exmoor jacket, at only 89 pounds, which is outstandingly good value for money. Today, we are completely the other end of the spectrum. So let's dive into the video and find out if Say Sky's new Element 3L waterproof running jacket is worth the quite heavy hefty price point of £289. Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Hope you are all managing to stay warm and dry out there. I don't know what the weather's like where you are, but I know down in Cornwall we've had some shocking weather of late. Really strong winds, driving rain and even some freezing hail. So for me, that has been great because we've got some wicked winter running kit to test and review. So perfect conditions. If you're completely new to the world of running waterproof jackets, then you might want to go along and check out our buying guide that we recently uploaded on the channel. We go into all the technical features that you might find in a waterproof jacket, but we also give you some tips on what to look out for when you're making that important purchase. So I've left a link in the description if you want to take a look. Now waterproof running jackets come in lots of different shapes and sizes and different levels of technical ability. So you can get an entry level jacket for around about £40, but it's not going to keep you dry for long and you will get wet eventually, but it's also not not going to be that breathable and it might be like running in a plastic bag or you can go higher end get a jacket with a much higher waterproof rating but also a lot more breathability so the say sky element 3l jacket is definitely high end but that does come at a price so let's dive in give you a few facts and figures about this really good looking waterproof jacket this is the first time the danish brand has produced a running waterproof jacket and i've run in several of their jackets before and really enjoyed the experience. So when I found out they were producing a waterproof one, I was very, very excited and I had to get hold of it and test it out. First up, it is a triple layered jacket. So that's gonna offer you the highest levels of protection against the element, but also really good breathability. So you shouldn't get too warm while you're running. It is constructed using a three layered laminated fabric that actually has one of the most sophisticated PU membranes and that's called Demizax EV. And it's one of the world's leading waterproof performance fabrics in the industry. It's available in six different sizes from extra small all the way up to extra large. It weighs in at 280 grams in a medium. And just as a point of reference, I'm six foot one. I weigh about 80 kilos. I've got a chest measurement of around 38 to 40 inches. And this medium fits really well. Obviously you get fully internal tape seams. We've got some nice substantial waterproof YKK zips throughout. You get a close fitting, fully adjustable hood, but you also get the added bonus of this nice little elasticated band inside it that gives you a really nice precise fit around your face. Breathability is helped by having vents across the back of the shoulders on the jacket, but you also get something that we don't see very often in running waterproof jackets, but we did see it in Harrier's Exmoor jacket we reviewed just recently, and that is pit zips. So you can open those zips up to help with airflow if you feel you're overheating and getting too hot and you've got two substantial pockets on the front of the jacket. You also get some elasticated cuffs and an elasticated hem on the jacket and it is all finished off with Say Sky's bold design and some nice high-vis logos for nighttime running. We've had the jacket for around about a month now and I've run it on dry mild days, blustery windy days and just recently I took it out in some biblical weather down here in Cornwall. So we had driving heavy rain and really strong gusting wind. So you can definitely say it has been tested out thoroughly, that's for sure. So let's go into a bit more detail on how the jacket is performed when it comes to protection and breathability. And let's see if there's anything we feel that could be improved. The first thing you notice when you undo the jacket is the quality of fabrics and the quality of the construction. 
Ribbon. And I know at £289, you'd expect the highest quality, but you definitely get that with the Element 3L jacket. Great fabrics, great substantial waterproof zips. All the stitching is finished off really well. Uh, a medium in the jacket fits me perfectly. So nice and tapered and fitted in the body so it's not gonna flap around. But I've got enough room in the shoulders for a nice range of movement, no constriction at all. And the sleeve length is spot on for me, which is an area I have struggled in the past when it comes to my waterproof jackets. Having a great fitting hood with that bit of adjustment on the back of it so you can really cinch it down around your face. Also, the added bonus of a stiff peak in that hood, which is a great feature on your running waterproof jacket. The breathability of the fabric has been fantastic considering the amount of protection from the elements you're gonna get using the jacket. Uh, I would say it's on par with my Ron Hill Shake Dry jacket in the breathability department, which is high praise indeed because that is a fantastic jacket. Having that addition of vents across the shoulders, uh, really help with airflow. I know it's a feature some runners don't want in their waterproof jacket because obviously then vents are open to the elements, but I actually quite like having them there and I think it really does help when it comes to breathability. And then we've got that added bonus of two really well put together pit zips under the arms. Again, really substantial YKK waterproof zips on there. And because they've been placed so well, you don't even notice the zips on the jacket. And then when you open them up, We've got some nice internal mesh inside those zips. So again, great attention to detail. Being a three layered waterproof jacket, it has offered me really good levels of protection. And like I was saying earlier in the review, the weather has definitely turned down here in Cornwall. So I've managed to get three or four one hour efforts in, in torrential driving rain. And the Element 3L jacket has kept me nice and warm and really dry. Again, going back to the fit of the hood, and when I was out in those conditions the other day, it was gutting around 50 miles an hour so some pretty strong wind so I put the hood up for a bit of extra protection and it worked so well so because of that precise fit I didn't have any wind gushing in the hood blowing it off my head every time I turn my head the hood articulated with me and that comes down to the precise fit and I've got to be honest when I, I put the hood up because it fits so well I just felt so well protected and safe in the jacket and I think most of that comes from this simple elasticated band internally in the hood so a great little feature now lots and lots of positives when it comes to the new element 3l running waterproof jacket from say sky great fabrics awesome construction and performance wise it's performed really well when it comes to protection from the elements and breathability uh, i really can't fault it but i also can't do this review without addressing the great big elephant in the room and that is price point when i heard that Sasco were producing a waterproof jacket i got super excited because having run in a lot of their running jackets before i've been so impressed with the performance but i've got to be honest that excitement was a little bit squished when i found out what they were going to be charging the consumer now clearly Sasco have gone all out to produce the best running waterproof jacket they possibly could using some of the most technically advanced fabrics some great little features on a running waterproof jacket really good attention to details and it's all been finished off to the highest standard but I'm not fully convinced how much time they actually gave to thinking about what the final product is gonna cost the customer. At 289 pounds, it is quite a lot of money to spend on a running waterproof jacket for most of us. And I know that is gonna put a lot of people off, which is a shame because it is a great performing jacket. But I also think maybe it doesn't fit in with what Say Sky are doing. You know, I know they're not a budget cheap running apparel brand, but for the quality of the kit you get, the great styling, I actually think Say Sky offer pretty good value and I don't see them as one of them sort of high-end, really expensive brands. So the Element 3L jacket costing 289 pounds, I'm not sure where it fits in with the rest of their range. I love the fact that Say Sky have been bold enough and this is what I love about the brand is that they're bold when it comes to making decisions. They're bold enough to try and produce the best running waterproof jacket they possibly could, even though it's their first time producing one, but I'm not convinced they haven't priced themselves out of the market. I think maybe a better option would have been to lose a couple of zips, lose a couple of pockets, um, to bring those manufacturing costs down a bit. Um, if you've watched some of my other stuff, you know I'm not a fan of 
pockets on running jackets. You fill them up with stuff and then they just bounce all over the place. It doesn't really work. Fine as a casual jacket, not so much as a running jacket. Obviously, we've got them brilliant pit zips and even though I've really enjoyed having them in the jacket and they're finished off to such a great standard, that must have been a big manufacturing cost. And we've got vents on the back for added airflow anyway. So you could have maybe lost them two features, brought them manufacturing costs down quite a bit, and then put out a great performing, high-end, really nice fitting, running waterproof jacket that's 30 or 40 pounds cheaper to the consumer. Maybe that would have been a better option. Just my humble opinion, but anyway, um, the price is the only negative I can come up with when it comes to the Element jacket. I really enjoy running in it. It's such a lovely feeling jacket to run in, but let's wrap this review up with a quick conclusion. So I suppose the big question is, is, is the Element 3L waterproof jacket worth that hefty price tag? And I personally think it probably is, you know. I'm sitting here holding the jacket. I can see where that money's been spent on these super technical high-end fabrics, the great features in the jacket, the attention to detail, and how it's all been finished off. And at the end of the day, Say Sky are like any other company in the world. They are working off margin. So they have to charge £289 for this jacket so that they make their profit margin so they can keep the company afloat. However, I would have still liked to see the jacket at around that £230 price point. I think it would have made it a lot more competitive. So a bit of saving on the manufacturing front and that price point might have been possible. But if you're a runner with £289 burning a hole in your pocket, you are after a high-end waterproof running jacket that's gonna offer you great levels of protection against any weather conditions and high levels of breathability alongside a really nice fit and it's gonna be packed full of features and it's going to look pretty good doing all of that, then I'd definitely recommend taking a closer look at the Element 3L jacket from Sky. So another review comes to an end. Really hope you enjoyed it. Really hope you found it helpful. If you did, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That little button just down there. Hit that button. Subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you along. But don't forget to hit that bell icon as well so you'll be notified when we upload any new content. And it would be awesome to hear your feedback guys so what do you think about the new running waterproof jacket from say sky and it's 289 pound price point uh, i'm sure there'll be some really interesting feedback guys so get in the comments and let us know not many days left now to get entered into run for adventures giveaway extravaganza it's the biggest giveaway we've ever done today and there is some amazing prizes up for grabs including some great apparel and accessories from danish brand say sky guys so i've left a link in the description for the video go and have a watch go and check it out and get in the mix because we are going to be drawing out three very lucky winners in our christmas eve special and you don't want to miss out once again thanks for watching the channel it's really appreciated we will see you back here very soon and as always stay safe and keep on running 40 or 50 pounds it's probably going to keep you dry for about an hour then you're going to get wet and it's not going to be that breathable or you can go higher end get something with a blue 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 blue